Welcome to Undercity Chaos, you comic comers. Now sit back and enjoy the seergasm of a podcast. All right, you guys, welcome to Undercity Chaos in the mind of the comic comic. I am your host, MTR, also known as Matherat. And as always, Renee and Billy. A Rod. Really, dude? Really? <laughs> All right, guys. This week's Boom Comics coming out with Boom. another film. There's possibility. Of course, this week's brand new comics, Power Round. Who would win? Batman Beyond or Spider-Man 2099? You know my answer. Free-for-all brawl at the very end. This is all an undercity chaos, civil war, open panel, anybody, whatever you guys want to talk about. We will hammer it out like it's nobody's civil it's war. war. Yeah, so let's go ahead. Let's get um, into it right about meow. So this has been an interesting week. I actually, because of my birthday, I haven't been able to read any of my comics. Happy birthday, buddy. Thank you. Happy so, birthday. Happy birthday. How do you, you feel? You, I feel 24 years old. You feel strong? <laughs> so this is what happens when you know on Facebook. I don't get reminded about this. Oh, gosh. And that, I'm glad because then it's like my true friends hit me up. They're like, happy birthday, which I might add. I didn't get a birthday from any of you guys. Uh, you, By the way, let's. Uh, what did I? Did any of your other friends start a birthday <laughs> pool for you? A Matt the Rat Deadpool birthday money spectacular. <laughs> ah. That's right. None of you Undercity Chaos, the, none of you comic comers came down to Undercity and put money in the kitty for our friend Matt. I'm very disappointed. But what I'm going to do, because I love this guy. Thank you. I'm going to double it up. Uh, double up. Uh, uh. And I'm going to turn it into a gift certificate that Matt Yay. can use here at the store for his birthday. So that's why you didn't get a birthday wish for me, because I was... Yeah, there you go. Thank you very much, buddy. I appreciate it. You know I love you. You know my birthday was in June. <laughs> <laughs> You forgot me. No, I believe, Renee, what I did is I bought you a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup or something. Oh, yeah, you did. Okay. Did I? Yeah. <laughs> I like to believe I did. I like <laughs> it tell makes you me feel good on the inside. Tell you what, Renee, since your birthday was in June. Go away and, next year. And I missed it. <laughs> I was going to say it. I'm not going to lie. I was going to go, wait till next year. Oh, we, it was your 21st birthday, too. We didn't get you. Dude, okay. I, yeah, I got you drunk. Yeah, you did. Okay, Just here's what I'm going to do. Just saying. I'm going to take Matt's. I'm gonna, Thanks. I'm gonna take Matt's gift certificate. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna double it. <laughs> double what you already. I'm doubled? gonna double it, right? You're gonna double to forty double? bucks. You're gonna double. I'm gonna multiple. I'm gonna double it to forty bucks total, and then I'm gonna divide it by four. By four, <laughs> <laughs> not two. <laughs> so ten bucks goes back to you. <laughs> and I'm gonna give half to you and half to Matt. But that's. But you said divided by four. Yeah. yeah, so you get ten bucks each. I'm actually splitting your gift. Oh, thanks, <laughs> but I didn't want to make it sound like I, I, was, I appreciate yeah. it, Renee. Thanks a lot, man. I was like twenty bucks. Billy, yes. when's your birthday? You want in on this? Yeah, it was May third, actually. Okay, excellent. Here's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> no shit. We're all gonna get like three bucks each. A yeah. Dollar. And it's, it's like one new comic. It's all gonna be in nickels. <laughs> no oh dude, I'd rather have it in pennies. Power round. Pennies? Power or would round. you rather have pennies Power or nickels? <laughs> what is the most useless coin? Nickels or pennies? Pennies because it costs one like one point like No, it used to. They changed it after the nineteen eighties. Oh, did they? Yeah. A uh, penny was more than a penny back in the day, huh? Yeah, because it was uh, made like ninety something percent copper. Nowadays it's only covered in copper. Like it's only coated in copper. It's so technically it's not even worth a penny then. No, no. What the fuck? <laughs> you get, get it all, just looks like a penny, so no one will bitch and moan. It, Here you it, go. Technically, if you get all these pennies be like from before 1982 and just melt it for the copper, you'll have more money. Yeah, but you'll only have like, if you had like 10 pennies, you'll only have technically like 11 cents. Yeah, you'd need a lot of pennies. Yeah, you need a the, shitload it, of pennies. The answer was, it was a trick question. The dime is the most useless <laughs> because oh. you can just use two nickels to make a dime. The dime. We need to get rid of the dime. Oh, okay. Do we need to get rid of the dime? Yes. What's what? what you can make two nickels makes a dime. Why do you need the dime? This is true. But then, why do you need the quarter then? If if you you always need a quarter, man. Yeah, but you could just. What have am five I going to put nickels. in a vending machine? Five nickels. No. 
That's too much time. It's too much, too much time. <laughs> That you can't because then it fills up the box too quickly. That's true. All right. See, that's what I like about the dime. It doesn't take up space. That's true. The dime is thin, but it's also pain in the ass to handle. I bet a lot of women would have that problem. And kids are dumb and think, <laughs> well, I don't. I like it because you can trick little kids into giving you a dime for a penny because the penny's bigger, so they think it's worth more. So you're like, hey, kid. Shut up. Hey, kid, give me that coin. You know what my dad used to do? My <laughs> dad me. used to, um, in Mexico, uh, his his god no, his godfather, his uh, grandpa was blind. So he used to be like, here, here's my money. Like, go buy me my cigarettes or whatever. And he'd come back and he'd go, here's your money. And he'd hold it. And he'd go, give me back my money. And he'd freaking start, like, cussing him out because he knew that he took his money. And he's like, how the hell does he know? But he, uh, before he was blind, he knew the di- when he was going blind, he figured out the different sizes of the pesos and the feel of them. So that's how he figured out. Uh, that's awesome. When he was getting ripped off. See? Not. His senses. It's like Daredevil. <laughs> Daredevil? Your, your great grandpa was like Dare the Mexican Duvall. Daredevil. Daredevil. Mm-hmm. Dare Diablo. Dare Diablo. What, what is it, Renee? Hello, can you hear me? Okay. So I can hear myself. You sound great. You sound sexy. I do. I always do. Get the hell out of here. All right, you guys, let's get on subject. Uh, you can reach me on five, You six, know, six, apparently uh, Two Guns, which was a boom comic. I didn't know. Somebody told me that boom. it was a comic but didn't tell me it was a boom comic. So apparently Two Guns did really well in movies, which is why Universal Pictures is having the option of making another uh, boom comic, which they're going to call it Boom Studios. I That's kind of cool. What? And... Uh, uh, according to Michael Allen Neeson, Matt Gangan, and Brian, why do they all have like weird ass last names? That's why I should be a comic book writer. They'll be like, Bo Garnon? What the hell is that? Brian. Hey, Bravo? <laughs> That's an awesome last name. Brian Stelfreeze. The makers, uh, all three of them are the makers of Daymen. They're just going in with Universal and seeing. You know, if maybe they want to make this, the, the cool thing is, is that it is a new spin. On um, the vampire mythos, I thought that was really, really interesting. Is that what they do? Is that um, w- from uh, S- ah, Stelfreeze? This is what he said. We're taking a very simple approach to the vampire mythos. Our vampires are more physical than they are mystical. Vampires are m- are like a metaphor for power, and that is what this story is about. Sure, they have fangs and they do the blood thing. And the story is still really lust and power control. But our main character, David, is an epicenter of all of all of the trial forces. So the story bears a strong resemblance... To the Godfather <laughs> more than Dracula. Right? Oh, really, dude? You got <laughs> but this is the weird thing is that um, they're they're calling it Day Men Number One, and I guess I don't know if it's came out yet or not. At least to what it says, it doesn't sound yeah, like yeah. it has. Huh. But that should be interesting because you know what? There there are a lot of good. Sub genres of vampire there, movies. There, there is like different takes are very interesting. I am Legend. Yeah, I am Legend was supposed. It wasn't supposed to be more zombies. It was supposed to be more. At least uh, the original book. Yeah, was vampires. Yeah, vampires. The cool thing was was I am Legend was he thought that the vampires were the bad ones and ended up since he was the only one of his kind, it was him that he, he was the bad person. He was the myth. And that's why he completely accepted his death when yeah. he does die. And he, that's why, hence, I am legend. He is the legend behind what they have been talking about. Okay. So I thought that was really cool behind that story. But, I mean, there's a couple of other good uh, vampire spinoffs that maybe didn't stick with it. Other than Twilight, which was the worst thing in the oh world. Oh, God. Sparkling vampire. 30 Days of Night was awesome. 30 I Days like, of Night was amazing. You, that was originally a comic, correct? Yeah. yeah. So what what was it about that? Was it that, like... It was in Alaska, and like since they had like a thirty day, yeah, that like whole yeah. nighttime in a month thing, you know, so that they whole... can go on a total rampage. Yeah. Uh, so they like plan for it and everything. Yeah. yeah. Did you ever see the movie? I didn't. That's why I'm asking. The movie's oh, really the movie's good, good down to the last, the last third of the movie kind of ruins it, but yeah. the first yeah. two it's thirds great. are like, really great. Leading up to it, they like 
they take certain nights, they like confiscate everyone's cell phones and burn them. Yeah, they they, like, they, they set them up so that they they will be trapped yeah, there. So they're, they're, they're destined are. for failure, basically. Yeah. Yeah, and they ba- and they basically say don't uh, don't turn anybody. They're not there to turn anybody into vampires. It's only for feeding. Yeah. Yeah. So it's basically like a big buffet, and they're just hunting people down in the town. Like, people are hiding, and they're just picking them off. Like, yeah, because I think they go into hiding for a month, right? Yeah, they try like, to hide out. Yeah, so they hide for a month because of the sunlight. It's there for a whole month. And then so, it's gone for yeah, a whole then, month. then they make up for that. Then they just feed and feed and feed and feed. That's ridiculous. It is so good, though. But why, why was the th- uh, last third of it? Because the way they resolve it is kind of dumb. Oh, yeah, with the uh, main character. Yeah, yeah, what he has to do to be to like to beat him. Yeah, it's kind of dumb. What does he do? He's like he, put put a put a sunlight you on your know? cell phone. He finds, he do you finds out that yeah. like their blood is like contagious. So okay. what he does was is that he gets like a syringe from a dead vampire and infects blood, himself. Infects himself, and he becomes a vampire. And then he's but he's like, a good vampire. He's a good vampire for some reason. That and he kills the leader of, like, the pack or whatever. Okay. But then, like, his girlfriend sees him, and then, like, he goes, it's going to be dawn pretty soon. So he wants to see the sunlight. And the next thing and you know, he dies. he dies watching the sunlight. He gets burned alive. Which is cool, because I like how they burn. It's like It is not, pretty cool. Yeah, because, like, they're not, like, burst into flames. Or they they're don't actually, turn like, into ashes. Sizzling. Yeah, they're actually sizzling. And it's like, like, like cooking. Yeah, they're actually cooking when they like see the bacon. sunlight. Like bacon. Like, Which still never made sense to me. Like, why would a vampire like? Why does the sun hurt vampire? Because the su- because of the night it was evil. Back, you know, you got to remember it's all based in in, in old uh, superstition. So yeah. the night is dark and full of terrors. Yeah. To quote that's from uh, Game of Thrones. That's like that's like their time. Okay. Their apparently, time. my my uh, one of my uh, what the hell is she to my family? I, she's not my niece, but uh, like one of my cousins. Uh, name a couple of female names from Game of Thrones. Ridiculous ones with like a K or a C. Mm-hmm. No, seriously, like oh, name. I them. don't. I don't watch. Game All right, of you Thrones. watch Game of Thrones. Hmm. Uh, females that have like like a C or a K at the beginning of their name in Game of Thrones. Mm-hmm. Name some. T- damn it! Name some characters. Cat. Cat is cat is someone in Game of Thrones. Mm-hmm. Well, it's short for uh, what's her name. No, yeah, is it? It's Ned Stark's wife. Catelyn. It's short for, short for Catelyn. Catelyn? I think Catelyn Stark. I think that's my cousin's name. Catelyn? That he's really into Game of Thrones. And Catelyn took, Stark? A, no, it's Catelyn. It's, I, think it's, I think you say cat. It calls her cat. It's some, like, weird, like, name, and I was like, where the hell did you Wait, get that it's name? The, it's because I met uh, your house? It's because the... No, no, oh, no, that, no, no. A different cousin? Okay. What... what my cousin Nando, that's like eighteen. Oh no, no, no! I keep thinking, I keep thinking that other. That's your sister, huh? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know who you met. Oh. You might have met a lot of people at my house. I know. I mean, my family's know. there constantly, so. But yeah, they, apparently they took a name from like Game of Thrones. It was some butt ugly name, and I was yeah, like, I'm gonna go through them all. <laughs> oh gosh. You, you are. Oh, you're searching it, aren't you? Yeah, that's what I do. You guys keep going. Um, when you guys are two topics away, I'll go, hey, I got the name. Yeah, away. like well, when he's way too well, really late. really quick then, name a favorite vampire movie that you guys always like him watching. You want to do a quick little power round on that? Quick little power round on that. All right, we'll do a power round on favorite vampire movie. Love it. That's a good topic. Billy, uh, do you have anything? Okay. I guess I'll start off. Uh, you want to start off? <laughs> I'll put it as a tie between Underworld and The Lost Boys. Ooh. Lost Boys, yeah. Lost Boys Lost is Boys like top is so, five for me, but it is so classic. Yeah. Favorite though? It's definitely like what I like about Lost Boys is it has the cool factor that another movie tried to do but failed really bad. Let's keep her is it Cersei? And there's a really old Maybe. up guy playing z- saxophone in the beginning, which is <laughs> weird. <laughs> yeah. Hey, dude, dude, that song's sexy. That's yeah. all and I gotta say. All buff and oily. Yeah, <laughs> He's like. like the world, I just love the female lead, and I love that it's so dark and gritty. Uh, I'd have to say, I'd have to, I'd have to honestly, as much as I'd want to go with like an action-packed one, I'd have to go with the all-time classic interview with the vampire. It's just such a great, it, it, solid no, movie. It, it is a good flow of the story, and at the so very good. end too, with yeah. oh, with with Tom Cruise and everything, I was yeah. like, what the hell? So, so you want to I'm see curious. what happens? Is anyone gonna pick Bella Lugosi? 
No, but I will tell you guys, going old school, take a look at a movie called The Last Man on Earth, which... With, Vincent uh, Price. Vincent, Vincent Price. Price. I've seen yes. that. Okay. Which, is, which is based off of I Am Legend. I Am Legend, yeah, and it's it also the main inspiration for Night of the Living Dead, yep. which eventually would bring us The Walking Dead. So if you want to get back to the, one of the roots, check it out. Now, they are. So check it out. That is a good one. Last Man on Earth. Vincent Mine Price. would have to be either... Mine was like... I kind of like watching like the 80s type movies. So like I kind of like Fright Night, the original oh, the 1980s. Fright Night was good because it was very interesting that, you know, it was like a teenage kid that wanted to see, that wanted to prove that his neighbor was a vampire. And, and you know, he goes through so Almost many like lengths. Almost like Disturbia, but with a vampire kind yeah, of Yeah, you know, okay. you know, like that Alfred Hitchcock uh, story about the guy with the wheelchair. I keep forgetting that. Oh, shit. I know which one you're talking about. Yeah. I know which one you're talking about. Alfred Hitchcock is actually one of my favorite. Yeah, like, too, yeah. oh, I everything like he makes. I like Psycho, I like Psycho, I like... Uh, but it'll, it'll be Fright Night or maybe John Carpenter's Vampires. Because James Woods is a flat-out badass in that movie. Really? Yeah. I haven't seen that one. Jo- I have it on DVD. I should let you borrow it. I appreciate it. All right, guys. We're going to go ahead and we're going to end this power round just a wee little bit early by 30 seconds. I like seconds. the power round music. Thank you. That uh, That is actually by the uh, Necromantics. Necromantic. Oh, nice. See, we're talking about the dead, and this is great. This That is by the Necromantics. That the is... Necronomicon. Oh, what is that? I think that's Necro High. That's not Necro High. The classic that was song. Is a very, very good song. Um, You're full of these references today. <laughs> I know, right? Give me, give me some... Oh, yeah, apparently... Uh, I like und- I put on my boots and like they were loose and my dad's like, "You look like that guy from the Breakfast Club." I was like, "Oh gosh, <laughs> please no!" Yeah. All I needed did, did was you, like, "Did a- you put your fist up in the air as soon as, as you walked away?" away no, yeah. I, no, I walked away and I was shaking my ass and I went, "Don't you forget <laughs> about me?" <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't. Don't, Cersei, did you ever right? see? Did you ever see the documentary that that guy did on like John Hughes and he tried to like convince him to come back because like he refuses to do any movies whatsoever i guess like well he's dead now is he dead yeah john hughes john hughes yeah, died yeah dead. last yeah. year yeah, he did. but yeah he, he left hollywood after uh i think he was trying to make the whatever movie was after uncle buck oh dude, he just had a, he had a real hard uncle buck is the greatest movie of all time john candy's my favorite actor in oh around god the 80s. god did you ever see john uh, summer candy. vacation john, of course that was so you mean, good you i mean loved summer it. rental summer rental yes did you ever see the episode with a smurf with a with the papa smurf beat the shit out of the guy with the blue hat <laughs> yeah. did you ever see that <laughs> what was john candy in oh my god oh, oh, I, re- I, no, I remember yeah i remember great his, outdoors you know what the weird thing is i remember his face but like i can never pinpoint like all the movies Movies he's been in. Cool oh running. yes, planes, trains, yes. and automobiles. Planes, yeah. trains, and automobiles. automobiles. He did a guest right. cameo yeah. in Home Alone. Home Alone. And Uncle Buck. Uncle Buck. Uncle Buck. Nothing but trouble with Jenny Chase. Oh my Chase. God! You know all the. Yeah, he was like the. He was all in that. He weird was. Makeup. He was also uh, in the Blues Brothers, wasn't he? He was in the Blues Brothers. He was. He was, he was the cop. Spaceballs. He was in space. Wait, balls. It was oh, he was Barf. He was Barf. Oh, that was great. I'm a mock, half man, half dog. <laughs> We're not doing this for money. I'm my own best friend. We're doing <laughs> for a shitload of money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was honest. Uh, yeah, I uh, <laughs> need a big bucket of wind to, to both of them. <laughs> Good Uncle old, Buck, man. good old John Candy. I would love John Candy as my uncle. Like, you know what you would love, Renee, and for you younger yeah, listeners I, out there, dig up SCTV. I don't know if you've ever seen it. Um, uh, after Saturday Night Live in the eighties, mm-hmm. it, it was SCTV was a, it was basically the Canadian version of Saturday Night Live. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm but, already laughing. But they, what they would do is their whole thing is they had a theme. SCTV took place at like a, like a bottom of the barrel TV station. So it was all these movie. And uh, and TV parodies, so it had the same cast of characters every week. So all the people, but it was like Rick Moranis. Everybody was ever in an '80s movie as an adult. So it was like Rick Moranis, John Candy, Eugene Levy. Oh God! Uh, they all Harold Ramis. They all got their start on SCTV, and John Candy was on it. And they used to do a lot of really great skits and stuff. So it's on DVD now. Okay. Check it out, SCTV. You will love it. John Candy is so good on that, dude. Played a guy by the name of Johnny LaRue. You know what I tried to watch recently and I couldn't do it? I can watch skits of it, but I can't like watch it in its entirety or a season of it. Is uh uh In Living Color. 
Oh. oh. You know what? kind of funny. My, um, at Blockbuster. I can watch skits of it. I can't watch, like, a whole season of oh, it. Oh, my dad made me, like, sit through, like, all the seasons. It's like, very get them at Blockbuster, or used to, and just, like, he would get them all and be like, here, watch Homie. Watch, uh, <laughs> watch okay, um, Homie the Clown I could watch all day. Homie the Clown. <laughs> it's very, um, it's that. very much of its time. My favorite was uh, Fire Marshal Bill. Fire oh, Marshal yeah. Bill. Let yes. me show you something. <laughs> <laughs> and the fact that uh, instead of having the token black guy, they had their token white guy. And who yeah. is their token white guy? Jim Carrey. Jim, Jim Carrey. The Did most you, annoying James actor Carey ever. First? <laughs> really, dude? I love Jim Carrey. Hate Carey. him. Hate I loved him in Yes okay. Man. I loved him in Liar Liar. He's I loved him in now. Ace Ventura. Uh, gosh, what is what else is there? There's a dumb and dumber. Dumb and dumber. I, I I'll you're... give him dumb and dumber, and I'll give him liar liar, and that's it. What about Yes Man? Nope. Really, Yes Man was really good. It was Bruce Almighty that was like. Why yeah. does every one of his comedies have to have like some kind of concept? Because it's funny. Yeah. No, uh, I can only say I can. I can't lie. I found this remote control that I found that it controls you. It's like come on. That was click. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> You're thinking of Adam Sandler. No, but what's the one with uh, where he can uh, Bruce Almighty? I'm God. Yeah. It's always like some kind of like uh, you can only say yes to like he has to say yes. So to like yeah. it's so. Well, why, well, yes, well, man, remind well, me of Liar Liar, and I loved Liar Liar. Yes, I, I think yeah. it was kind of a douche about the last movie he did. Oh, like, because kick, all right, so Kick Ass too. Kick ass, yeah. yeah, he got mad about the whole guns thing. Well, because how was, was Kick right Ass too? Let's he, talk about he, that. He shot that movie like during the whole school shooting. Is that why? That's why he said that. So he got all sensitive about it. That's why. What a bitch. Yeah. But it's not, dude. It's not like it's the maker's fault. No, like, come on, man. Movie. I saw that movie. He didn't even use one gun. He was just saying the involvement of the movie that had so many use of guns, which was kind of lame. Because in that movie, but weren't the bad the guys guns. with the guns? Yeah. That's just so. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. I but, okay. Uh, I saw. I saw Kick Ass too. Really it. good. <laughs> it was great. It was really good. Jim Carrey. You know what I did yeah, notice? There was one little shit. scene where uh, he <laughs> couldn't hear it because Billy was talking. You know <laughs> uh, what's his face? Um, when uh, Kickass was Dave Lizabowski, or I forgot his name, but like when he's having a flashback about his dad, yeah, and he's like, "I love you, son," and then like if you look in the background, he's putting up like a Mark Millar. Oh yeah, poster. Superior. Yeah, that was really cool. Yeah. Dang that! That's what you noticed out of the movie. You're well, like, I'm not gonna watch cool the movie. Things. I'm gonna watch the background of the movie. By the way, was Kickass two in 3D? No. no. All right, that's it good. didn't need it, to be in 3D. It was <laughs> it was horrendously bloody though. Hot, but well, isn't that the point bloody. of Kick Ass? It was funny. It was the action scenes was pretty good. The it had a lot of humor. I loved uh, Mother Effort in it. He was funny. They changed one scene. They changed the rape scene into a more of a lip. Yeah, scene. they did. Yeah. And they then, changed the rape scene into what? Yeah, in the comic books, uh, mother m- m- motherfucker was trying uh, raped one of Kickass's uh, girlfriend. Uh, in the comic books, beat her okay. up and raped her, but they didn't do that because of the because it, it's it's a movie that's going to be shown in the public. So, and then also, uh, so then what did he do? They kind of lightened up on the he went one limp. scene in jail. He went limp. Yeah, he couldn't. Yeah. do it. And he, he couldn't get to, it up. Yeah, he, because because he can hear like the slapping noise. He can hear the. <laughs> And then, like, but nothing's happening. That's he's like, funny. he's like, I'm just not in the mood, okay? <laughs> that is funny. There was there was a scene where a guy got run over that was pretty graphic. Oh uh, yeah. So this is what I'm confused about. If, since we're going to be comparing the comic book to the movie, was Kick Ass Two, the comic book written for the movie Kick Ass Two? No, it was continuing on from the first movie. I mean, from the first comic book, because the first comic book was completely different from the first movie. Uh, because so why are they well, doing Kick Ass, Kick Ass, Kick Ass Two, and Kick Ass Three? Because right now the comic book continuity is Kick Ass Three, so I'm yeah, confused. Uh, Kick Ass Two ended up ended in a like cliffhanger, where uh, Hit Girl got arrested and she volunteered to get arrested, and it ends right there after this big old brawl. And so okay. now it's gonna be like, okay, now you're gonna see what's gonna happen next after that. So is it? But I'm so confused. Is it a storyline? Like, I don't understand why it, it has to be two and three. Why uh, can't it just be like a continued? Yes. Oh, because Mark Miller didn't want to do that. He wants to, like, so be what, like a limited series, uh, but yet keep the, like, the story on, though. Okay, he's doing so, other things. That's the thing. Okay, so kick-ass, all the kick-ass stuff are basically, um... It's kind of like... Not uh, graphic novels, but limited series, like yeah, you it's, said. It's a contained it's, universe. It's, it's, it's kind of like Lock and Key. Oh, okay. It's kind of like that. 
it makes like it's a it's a story within itself, but it's a limited story. Yeah. But it's still going to continue on the continue continuity. On. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, got it. <laughs> Check Mark. Mark. Mark Millar is awesome. I mean, he is the guy he's he did Red Sun. I have one of the Legends of the Dark Knight. He did also really good. Real quick, I I, uh, I sent our buddy here Mario mm-hmm. uh, something on uh, Instagram. Did you see it? Yeah, it was a picture of the Angels game. Who was sitting at the Angels game? Nobody from the picture, from what I could see. Oh, you didn't see who that person was that put that up on Instagram? It was you. It wasn't me. Who I was wasn't. It? I was not there. Who was it? It was Toasty. What? It was Toasty at a freaking front row Angel game, and it said, good seats are good seats. Should have seen all the <laughs> hashtags I put. Fake Dodger fan whoa, 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 sold whoa, out his whoa, team whoa, whoa, for whoa. a front whoa, seat. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Whoa, uh, whoa, whoa. No, dude, no, 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 You should no, no. see all the hashtags. There's a difference between going to an Angels game. Somebody gives you tickets to a game. You go to a game. A baseball game is a baseball game. I beg the difference. There's another thing that's a difference between going to a game and liking a team and then all of a sudden, oh, I like this other team, and then rocking their hats and then how talking could, trash. How could you go? Then talking trash. I've gone to Angel games. Yeah, but yeah, you've gone, gone. Have you gone in support of the Angels, or you're he just like say, he didn't say he was supporting. He just said, he said never, it what, said look, good seats are good seats. Look, okay, that's what he's saying. The whole thing is good seats are good seats. Meaning if that's you get, like if you okay, get good okay, seats, okay. Hold on, hold on. So, since we're going down this route, let's. Get, I want to get Sue on real quick. I think we should get Sue on. Well, she's talking on the phone really quick. Because I want to see... Stripes using a baseball bat? Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> really, dude? Uh, Colonel Starge. What do you mean good seats are good seats? He meant if someone gives you good seats, you take them. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to... I'm going to... Well, I mean... Con- okay, wait, wait. I'm going to well, confirm this right now. Let me say something really quick because, like, I'm not a... You guys all know here that I'm not a sports fanatic. You yes. guys all know that. No, you but, but I do get tickets to the angels game because my uncle loves the angels but, uh-huh. my, but my dad is even like baseball but we just go just to go to a baseball game there you go see I yeah mean. but there's a difference when you go just to go and you're a fan and you're going it's like uh, what, what i, I want to get sue on here what makes you I think get sue on what makes you bad. think what gave you the, the idea that he was a fan it no it's a he's a dodgers fan yeah like shit, he's like I'm a Dodgers fan. This, this, and that. And somebody gave him and tickets to an Angel game. about the Dodgers. Sue, can we have you on for a quick second, please? It's sports related. I think we really need you. We're gonna have, we're gonna have Sue on here. I want to clarify. I recommend. If, hold on, hold sports. on. I, <laughs> I want to. I want to see if Mario is right in this sense. Go ahead. Still, this wanna- is. Sue, the owner. Sue, by the way, that is still of one of the most quoted. City. That is one of the things that gets quoted to me the most. Sports. Is your little, I recommend sports. <laughs> I recommend sports. Okay. Just period. Okay. Sports. No one said, this is between me and Sue right now. Sue, mm-hmm. you love football. I love football. Mm-hmm. Who is your team? Green Bay Packers. Who is their rival? <laughs> Which one? Okay. No, 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 Bears game. I'd go. Oh my this god! This is the reason why. <laughs> this is the reason why. So I could talk shit. There you go. To Cutler the <laughs> okay. entire time. Okay. I would be. I'll give her that. So we need to see if Toasty. Her. We need to see if Toasty was talking smack. I need, all the time. I need you to ta- stop talking for. I know this is hard for you to do, but stop talking for one. Hold second. on, I'll kill my mic just just, just all, to give you that peace of mind. You're working under the assumption that the Angels and Dodgers are rivals. That is not true. Not the Angels year. and Dodgers are not rivals. The Dodgers play in the National League. The Angels play in the American League. It's the like Dodgers, an un, it's like an no, 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 no. thing, though. In like for you... Angels fans, it is. 
Dodgers fans don't give two shits about the Angels. A true Dodger fan doesn't care. I beg to differ. You do not. With all the not, stuff you tell me. You're not even on our radar. The only reason the Dodgers know about the Angels is because their fans are the most fucking annoying fans in all of baseball. Yeah, but the Giants aren't a but threat either. A, the Giants are rivalry? The Giants are always our rivals because they can knock us out of the playoffs. But there's a different kind of rivalry between it's the It's a divisional Angels, rivalry. The Angels and the Dodgers because it's like the White Sox and the Cubs. Yeah, the only they time. Go, it's, they hate each other. The it's because it's because it's, it's like it's too close. That's yeah. it. The, like if honestly, if they were a yes, uh-huh. hundred miles away, yes, th- we no one would care. I but don't since care. They're less than like twenty five miles away yes. from each other. You are wrong. There is a rivalry there, no, no, between no, 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 no. the two. It what is, the, that exists in the head of the Angels fans. That exists in every head of five any fan. Championships to one on a wild card is not a rivalry. One World Series run on a fluke wild card, a rule that didn't exist 20 years ago. They got in as a wild card and they won the World Series as a wild card. That's not even a real World Series. How, how can you say that's a rivalry? If that's the case, there's wild cards in football, and yet they've went to the Super Bowl and taken it, so yeah. then you're saying that's a fluke as well? Yeah, uh, always. A wild oh card is always like, God. no, that's not a fluke. Always. Actually, you know, with football, it's... <laughs> When you get hot. Actually, it is. Football is different. I, w- I will accept the football win. And but when you get hot in the end, and you could have the worst record. That is true. According to like what the Packers did in 2010. Speaking of the worst, worst records. The worst record in the playoffs, and they won. Oh, you can see like the Giants and the Patriots. I knew, I was, <laughs> I knew what I was doing when I said that. <laughs> I You're knew setting you were her up. Like, You're setting her up. Listen. I get defensive. Here's, here's <laughs> the you. Angels. You guys are adorable because you think... That people care. See, but then uh, you you care enough to continue to ridicule me constantly. Yes. Because so then, fan, I think he does it because it's fun. I told you this. Talking to an Angels fan about baseball is talking is like talking to my nine-year-old daughter about the second law of thermodynamics. You know? It's just not... Do you even know the second yeah, law? Yeah, entropy. And that's it? Just one word? Entropy. All things are moving from, from order to chaos is basically the, the way to break that down. You could. You're, you're telling me your daughter wouldn't understand that. She would, but I mean, on a. On a <laughs> but I mean, just use an analogy and totally put it. But back But she on would, himself. but only because she's a Dodgers fan and she's very. That intense. makes no <laughs> sense. <laughs> no <laughs> sense whatsoever. So this, you you would go. You would go to that of game. Of course, I would go Matt, just to talk shit. I used to go to Angels games person. all the time, and I'm not an Angels fan. But back before interleague, you went because if you want to see certain players, oh, no. that's what you would do. No. If I was, I, would if I root I, for the right, Angels? Okay. Would I wear a hat? Would I sacrifice my firstborn to the rally month? Oh, no. wait. No. I, I would wear a it was the funniest jersey thing. Uh, to a yeah. Bears game. Did, uh, what did, what happened? I won't be a game? dick. Like, I'll wear a... Somebody had a baby at the Angel game on Friday, and all I kept thinking was, sacrifice to the rally yeah. monkey. <laughs> That's what... And like, pulling it out of her, and I was, I was, Laughing my That's ass what off, the and no one could figure out why I was laughing. I was like, "You guys will understand if you were listening." You weren't the it. only one thinking that. The baby's parents were thinking that. Too. <laughs> the, the, the fucking rally monkey's gonna come out. I gotta. <laughs> when do we sacrifice the baby? <laughs> <laughs> I just throw it off the balcony. <laughs> Done. Oh, That's oh, why when you walk into Angel Stadium, there's a sign that says no. No, you know, no beer, no uh, outside beverages, no, pregnant no women. weapon, no, <laughs> no weapons. Parenthetically, aside from sacrificial knives, because when that baby comes, when that rally monkey comes, oh man, it's like honestly, uh, that's gonna, that's my new hashtag on a uh, on um on Instagram. Is oh my god, all, all hail the rally monkey. All hail, that should be it. <laughs> all hail I will thank you, Sue, very much for coming on. I really right. appreciate sports. it. Sports, right, get sports. into it. <laughs> I do like. Honestly, I think you talk too much smack in order to say all the things that you say and whatnot. Because I have to put the Angels fans in their place. All right, you guys, it's time for a <laughs> quick commer. Oh, commercial. Wait. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you've heard about it in stories. You've heard about it on the podcast. Under City Comics in Whittier, we are located at 11219 First Avenue, Whittier, California. Come on down and check out all the comics. DC, got it. Marvel, got it. IDW, got it. Dark Horse, got it. Kaboom, we don't give a shit. We got that too. All your comments are down here waiting to be read. They're wrapped in plastic. We're not some hack, second-rate comic book shop that just leaves those stuff in piles around the house like at your best friend's apartment. That place is disgusting. 
Everything is wrapped, beautiful, ready to be pulled off the shelf, purchased, and read. You want to read it here? We don't care. Pull up a chair. You want to come in and bring your greasy food and put that all over your own comic books? That's fine. Just don't put it on ours. We've got toys. We've got games. We've got beverages. We've got pennies. Feed the penny monster at Under City Comics. Why are you still listening to me? Get in your car and drive down here now. All righty then. All right, our next topic, if my computer would freaking turn on. Ah, ah, ha, ha, ha. Dude, 35 minutes in, Salvin edited this week's brand new comics. Go ahead and take it away, Renee. <laughs> you brought us back to <laughs> All right, uh, this week's new comics is 100 and Bullets, Brother Lonem, Adventure Time, Animal Man, Arrow, Avengers, Avengers Assemble, Batman 66, <laughs> Batman and Nightwing, Batman Beyond Universe, Batman Be- Batwoman, Betty and Veronica, Birds of Prey, Blood Brothers, Bloodshot, Bounce, BBRD, Hell on Earth, Bravest Warriors, Cable and X-Force, Chin Music, Daredevil, Dexter, Dinosaurs Attack 2, Dream Theft, Fables, Grim Fairy Tales, Grim Fairy Tales Oz, Green Lantern New Guardians, He-Man Masters of the Universe, Hellraiser Dark Watch, I Love Trouble, Indestructible Hulk, Judge Dredd, Justice League Dark, Justice League of America Vibe, Justice League Trinity War Director's Cut, Legion of Superheroes, Lobster Johnson, Scent of Lotus, Morbus Living Vampire, My Little Pony Micro Series, Nova, Red Hood and the Outlaws, Rival, Re- Rebel, Simpsons Comics, Sonic Universe, Star Wars Dark Times, Spark Remains, Star Wars Darth Vader and the Ninth Assassins, Stray in the Fall, Supergirl, Superior Spider-Man, Superman Unchained, Thief of Thieves, Thunderbolts, Trinity of Sin, Pandora, Ultimate Comics, Venom, Wonder Woman, X-Factor, X-Men, X-Men Legacy, and X-O Manowar. That concludes this week's comments. Can I see that list Thank for me? you, Renee. Yeah. I don't listen. I just want to read. I don't listen. I just talk. All right, Dinosaur you guys. Dinosaur attacks comes out. What? Oh gosh. Are you collecting that? Heck yeah, I am. Are uh, the dinosaurs in it? Then I'm collecting it. That's funny. I'm actually thinking about jumping off of some of the things I have. Like everything? Uh, no. <laughs> um. Well, I'm glad the whole run between a uh, Swamp Thing and Constantine is over, which was really good, believe it or not. And um, that a uh, sibling uh, rivalry with uh, the Superior Spider-Man and a uh, uh, Scarlet Spider, Spider, which you know what it shows that it showed that Doc Ock really isn't as uh, as stable as he thinks he is, because mm-hmm. when he saw Kane, he got upset over what Kane did to Doc Ock. Yeah. And he even says it himself. He's like, I'm Dr. Octavius. And he's like, wait a minute. No. I'm the superior. And right before he finishes, he gets like socked in the face. So he's still having that conflict of repressing memories from being Dr. Octavius. Yeah, because he still remembers a lot of things like being picked on, being what happened to him during his villain years. Yes. You know? Have you seen the new issues coming out tomorrow? The Superior of Spider-Man? The superior? Yeah, the one with Hobgoblin, right? Yeah. That's oh. awesome. Renee, you going to get that? Yep. I'm still reading it. All right, you guys. Let's do a quick little power round. It is Batman Beyond versus Spider-Man 2099. Wow. I'm going to give it to Beyond. The reason I will give it to Beyond is because technically Spider-Man 2099 doesn't have Spidey sense. No, he doesn't, yeah. And the thing is, is that Terry has the suit that actually enhances his power. Mm-hmm. He doesn't so, have bad sense. He doesn't have bad sense, but he not, not only that, Batman is there guiding him the whole time. So he knows if anything is about to happen, he not only has his own conscience, but technically he has the original Batman's conscience as well there with him. And the ability to maneuver faster because of the suit. Well, what does Spider-Man 299 have? 299? 299. 
uh, he uh, he basically has like, the, better the spider. The uh, yeah, <laughs> he basically has the the spider power from the original Peter Parker. He is stronger. He doesn't have the spider sense, but he has a. He, I believe he has fangs too. He has a better suit, and he's actually able to bite you. And if he bites you, like you're you're done. Like it's some sort of like poison or something. Oh, no. uh, he still has the spider slings as well. You know what? I think I would have to give it to Beyond as well too, because he's given that Terry also has a lot of training dealing with all the other super villains as well too. So if him, if he's facing Spider Man, it'll just be like, yeah, it'll be a it'll be obstacle, a really hard, hard challenge. Cause but he will come over it. You know, he will, he will come out on top. That's what I think. All right, Billy. You know what? I want to be the odd guy out right now, but, you know, Batman Beyond, he has a lot more tech, he has somebody guiding him, whereas, um, you know, Spider-Man, he's a great guy, I mean, I don't know him, but, he's a nice guy, but he's, he's gonna get like his cool ass guy. <laughs> but I mean, like, he's really, like, he's always on the edge, he's all out by himself all the time, so, you know, I hate to say it, but I think Batman's totally gonna take this one. All right. I'm going to go, uh, we all know who the best is. I go Batman all the way. Batman is the, always the best. Oh, I feel bad for Spider-Man. Batman is the best in every modern Batman. doesn't matter. Future Batman. What about uh, what about year 100 Batman? Always Batman. Batman is always the best he of did, all the comics. He had the, what was it? The one always. Pope. He had, a, he had a, who had that tech guy, Robin? Batman smokes Spidey <laughs> all the time. I don't know if if there were. Uh, I guess we're going to. I think you guys wait for me to see Spider Man, but uh, I'm just going along with Matt from now on. I'm not going to argue with him anymore. This is my, the new me. All right, Walking Dead is like the greatest comic ever. It is, no <laughs> doubt, no diggity, and, no doubt. And the angels are way more. Oh yeah, <laughs> heck yeah! They man. hear that come out of his mouth, and it's recorded. Yes, angels are better, dude. If, if I want to go, like I don't want to be bothered. When I go to a baseball game, I don't want to be bothered by a baseball game, okay? I want to go to Angel <laughs> Stadium. I want to walk around and get beer. I want T-shirts shot out of a cannon. I don't want to sit there and figure out how many outs So basically, you're going to the Angels game to take a break from a baseball game. Yes, exactly. <laughs> like everybody That's else. That's funny. I'm going to I the baseball see, game to get away from baseball. I want to see a rally monkey. I want to see lasers, Honestly, a waterfall. The, 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 Sacrifices. You know what? No, I'm glad it's not as theatrical as these. You remember they like when the Angels would hit a home run, the fireworks would go off and stuff? They still do that, don't they? No, they don't. Not they at don't? all. No. no. I think they're just not hitting home runs this season. I think that's your problem. Are you kidding me? No, <laughs> believe it or not, the only the only way they usually get a run is through a fucking home run. Now, it's their pitching, man. They're gonna need. It, to get... it, it, honestly, it is. Uh, the Angels. Let him, let him the down. Angels. Uh, fucking Trumbo great and uh, Trumbo and, and Weaver? Trout were tearing it up all week. Trout, uh, Weaver's been the only. Weaver's the spot. only the only good pitcher. I know all about your team over there. Yeah, but it's just sad. We're gonna go to that's game. why. But that's why the Dodgers honestly are doing so good because they, they were them. they were they were solid. They were solid, but they weren't getting the job done. Then once they got Puig, that was it. It God. was sucking. well. He was a spark plug. Good. Hanley Ramirez is really aside from his error that cost him the game on Monday, but he's really been the one. That's but still, carried. they've been what undefeated at least usually ten games are on now. Like uh, come on, they had dude, a fourteen that's... game win streak, a fourteen game road streak, and they had a ten game uh, straight win streak. Dude, just, Renee's falling asleep snap. on us. <laughs> now they have, they just lost <laughs> two in a row. Sports. <laughs> you know what you need to get into? You sports. can buy beer at a baseball game. I'm Batman. just letting you know. That. Batman. Batman. <laughs> they have, Batman loves baseball. No. Oh, yeah. No. I fail to believe that he He wouldn't take the name sport. Batman if he didn't like baseball. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Wah, all right, wah. you guys. It is time for the free for all. Battle Royale. This is the Battle Royale. This is the Civil War among Civil War. Undercity Chaos Comer versus uh, all three Chaos Comic Comers. This wow. is it, you guys. I, this is it, you guys. At least we're not superior homos, okay? All right, <laughs> this is going into it. What the hell do you guys want to talk about? Because we have not d done this period. At know, yeah. all, we we usually s stick by. We usually try to stick happening. dead oh, on to it. Billy, the floor is open. Okay, one thing I but have, nobody's home. I've been wanting to get this out of my head for a while. Do uh, it, Billy. Yes, Green Arrow is horrible. No, I'm joking, dude. I'm joking. 
How dare you? I'll see you after the show. <laughs> the I'll see lot. you in the parking lot. Boom. Right behind us. I wanted to talk about, and I know nobody wants to talk about this really oh, that then, much. And yet he Beware the it. Batman. Oh, I haven't let's seen talk it. about yeah, you know what? Let's I haven't seen it. That. Yeah, let's, let's talk, talk about that. that. I heard uh, Metamorpho. Yeah, just that came was out. Yeah. One of the weaker episodes. Of really? Honestly, That's disappointing because I have the Metamorpho comic, uh, ba- Batman Brave and the Bold. Oh yeah? yeah. Yeah. Here's the thing about Beware the Batman that I before I saw it, Beware I already did Batman. like it. That's not the theme song for it, is it? It's no. Beware the Batman. And yeah. then that's it. See, why can't it be like the original Batman where, like, you didn't need to mention who it was because you knew who it was. No, 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 Not that one. You get the Danny Elfman song. Yes. I like the premise of it. And you knew it, dude. There was just the lightning behind him, and he's just standing there. All right, sorry, Billy. We keep interrupting. Yeah. Go no, ahead, go, cool. go. I, We're I, talking I, about good classic Batman, but go on. Beware the Batman. I I like the premise of it. Let's highlight those obscure characters that very few people have heard about. You know, like, I uh, yeah. You know what? I will agree with you there. They are giving some of those characters that didn't get like those not well known villains. They are yeah. giving them their own episodes. So that is nice. They throw them a bone once in a while. But like, I mean, then again, I mean. They used to do that for the animated series, and, like, those episodes weren't really, like, that I did. Good. Only some of them were good. Like, I said, like, the clocking was good. I oh, like those. Cuts it out, huh? But I did like a lot of, uh... See, I did like the episode with uh, Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because I thought he was a total psycho, and I also liked, uh... <laughs> that was the other one I really liked was, uh, Silver Monkey. What? I like Silver Monkey, but I admit there is some inconsistency, because Silver Monkey has been the most badass villain, because, like... Think about it. He's like a super martial arts expert, trained with Ra's al Ghul and Shiva and the League of Shadows. And it's just so Who weird. Who's this that... guy? Silver Monkey. I got to find out about this guy. And it's so weird because like every other Silver villain Monkey. is not like him. You know, they're, they're costume freaks. And Batman has a hard time putting him down. And finally, he meets a villain that's super trained in martial arts. And Batman just walks up. It's like, punch. Like, you're out. And that's kind of inconsistent with the rest of the show. Well, but then again, it's it's um, I isn't fair. Isn't beware Batman more of a children's show? And that's another thing it that kind of bothers is. me because like, here's the thing: what? It, how are you going to bring in Professor Pig, someone who cuts out people's faces for a kids' show? They have to really change him so much. Yeah, they, so they really did. So, change. but like, I don't understand why they keep coming in keep coming out with like the kids show version and stuff perfect example if that was the case why didn't you just keep batman brave and the bold yeah, yeah that was a kids show done right exactly yeah, that way it, it, it got away with a lot of things because it was kind of it felt also like they i mean it was an animated series but then it was it felt like more like an adam west take what i like about that was that it's a kids show and it tried to be a kids show whereas like um Beware the Batman's a kid's show that tries to be adult but can't be because it's a kid's show. Yeah. And they make Batman look really weird. Yeah, I don't like his costume. They try too hard to make it, try to make it like the new 52, but more shiny. Yeah. It's, and then, um, I do not want my Batman to shine bright like a diamond, okay? <laughs> yeah, see, and then some of these characters. Shine bright like a diamond? <laughs> Metamorphosis? Like no, a you, diamond. Have to, you have to get that high pitch. Shine bright like, like a, a diamond. diamond. Why yeah. are you guys covering... A diamond in the sky. <laughs> I, I thought it was Shine was that, Bright. You know. <laughs> Metamorpho is like a, a hero. Right? Metamorpho is a hero. But no, Metamorpho was originally a uh, an enemy. He was created by uh, the Riddler, Penguin, and Joker. Yeah, this one, it's uh, Simon Stagg. Kind of is more responsible for him. Uh, he lost me. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> yeah. But what's your review no, no, on it, dude? Is it good or not? I mean, do I watch it? Do I stay the hell away? This is your subject. I here's... like the two episodes. See, I stuck with it right before I was about to drop it. I saw Silver Monkey and I was like, this is badass. I came back next week for Humpty Dumpty again. Another badass episode. But, and so, like, so this week I was still punked. But when I saw Metamorpho and uh, they fixed a couple of issues that I was having with the show, mainly like Gotham City is a deserted city. There's nobody in it. Yeah. Why is it deserted though? Every single night, there's oh, no one out. It's I guess it's too tough to animate a full city full of people. Yeah. So it's like so dead. They, so it's Whatever always so Batman? instead of like animating people to make it look like so city, Batman's driving around. And he's like, where the hell is everyone? You know what? Where yeah. is everybody? They usually is like <laughs> it'll be like a whole city, but maybe like two people walk by, say something, and there'll be the whole two people in the city. 
Oh my god! There's no traffic. Like we anywhere. just witnessed the uh, the the bad the that bad just man? happened. Only us two though, because there's no one else walking out here. <laughs> yeah, even even Gordon's house looked kind of weird. No, I mean like when I watch the show, I you know. I, I I keep thinking this is what they replaced with Green Lantern in the animated series because that was a good show. Yeah, that that kept me interesting, even though there was like it, and was, it was a bit. It off. was from the same makers, at least animation wise, yeah. and they were able to get away with the way things look because most yeah. of them were aliens. Yeah, so I mean, and it's Green and, Lantern. It's, it's Green Lantern, green. and they're focusing on in space, which is which is awesome, and they're like foreshadowing other Green Lanterns because they kept foreshadowing like the Yellow Core. Yeah. But they never showed them. It was just Green Lantern, Blue Lantern, and Red Turn Lantern. Like and, and then Star, and Star Sapphire. You mean like Young Justice foreshadowed Darkseid? Yeah. With G. Gordon Godfrey all the time. And then okay. freaking um, Kid Flash dies. And it's like, oh no, we're going to cancel it. Yeah. It's over. Right when Kid Flash dies? Right when Kid... No, DC, does, DC does not really like Wally West right now. <laughs> I know. What's, give Wally West a chance. Don't get me wrong. I love Barry Allen. He's awesome. I, I love Barry. I love Bart. I love Bart. I love Jay. Wally is just funny. He's the guy we grew up with. Yeah, but, I mean, just throw him a bone. I yeah. Mean, the, young, the, young Justice was a great show. I love it. Yeah, they it. canceled that, too. Yeah. And the yeah. series, right? Tonight, tonight, hey, all I think of of Young Justice, all I think of is freaking Conan O'Brien when he, when he got drawn into the Justice League and he had, <laughs> he had like a bald eagle on his shoulder. <laughs> And a hot mitten, but it was still steaming for whatever reason. Good old Conan, man. He looked badass, though. I'm not going to lie. When they drew him in it, he looked cool, but it was just it, it was stupid. So, beware the Batman. Hop on it or not. Uh, man, you know, they had two really great episodes, which is going to suck Are me two into- episodes worth crap? And the oh, other four were crap. Well, four were crap, four two were crap. good. So you know, it's not good, man. That's not a good average. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna see what else is showing up. What other villains? Sounds are like the in. Angels' uh, batting average. <laughs> yeah, you know, like it is. Fucking, I'm not gonna lie. It was, I was I was really happy to see Humpty Dumpty. You know, I wouldn't be. I was happy to see Humpty Dumpty too in Puss in Boots. So. <laughs> wow. <Whoa. laughs> oh, I will tell you what to look Damn. out for. Damn. Tara comes out tonight in Teen Titans Go. If you want to catch that, oh, yeah. yeah, but Tara. it's but it's like it, there's not really like, you know, it's 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 like a kids show. So to get excited about Tara coming, it's not like there's no, gonna I mean, be drama. Well, or anything, well have you, know? you seen like I mean, Teen Titans Go? It's yeah. awesome. It's it's a funny show. No, I didn't mess up the car at all. <laughs> Boom. Yeah. I mean, like to me, it felt like they were trying to three like like the DC animators were like, you know what? That's all these regular show and venture time. Let's do our own little thing, you know? Let's yeah, because it's, t- it's the same time slot. Yeah, so. All right. I want to point to the big man. Mm-hmm. Would you, anything you want to cover? <sighs> you know. That's how uninterested he is. I do. I have some some news, and I wanted to bring it, run it by you guys, because uh, I know that Matt's always worried about Disney, the Disneyfication of Marvel. How Marvel is gonna deal with Disney owning them? How it's uh, better than DC? I was gonna. I was watching. My daughter was watching Disney. Wait, Channel. Disney or DC? Because Disney, you, the Disneyfication of Marvel. Okay, cool. Because you're like DC. I was like, no, wait, no, what? My daughter, no, there's they, they are now doing a TV special <laughs> where the Avengers are going to appear <laughs> in a Christmas episode no, oh, on Phineas and Ferb. Really? They're going to show up yeah. on Phineas and Ferb. I would want to watch that. And they're also, so good. It looks awesome. And they're also going to, I guess there's a bunch of Star Wars references in it, too. Because now they own my favorite part yeah. in the, that trailer was when the sister was walking past all the Avengers. <laughs> and you see Spider-Man sitting on like the island of the table. And go like, he'd be like, oh, you know, hey, he goes, hey, Spider-Man. And what are you doing right now? Why are you giving me this? It's the movie it's one, the, one, though. It's the cosmic glittery one. It's okay. It looks cool. <laughs> Let me see. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you bought it for him? No, I originally I bought one of the little toys at the 99 store because it had a ring in it. And I made it in the keychain for Renee because I saw it was like lying around my room. All right. There you go, Renee. Happy uh, happy, happy, happy Thank birthday. Thank you. Happy birthday, Renee. So go on with your thought. That was broken. We still love <laughs> it's you. It's all good. What was I saying? I'm all like. Uh, Spider Man's on the <laughs> island of the kitchen. Oh yeah, because like the sisters walking by, and she goes like, "Oh, you know, hey, Phineas, hey, Ferb, hey, Spider Man." She goes, "Bah, bah, 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 bah. She like, sees Spider Man. I don't know why. I just why love is her she reaction. excited about like Spider Man? Wouldn't you be? 
Yeah, if you saw Spider Man sitting on your table. Yeah, dude. but is it Superior Spider Man or Amazing Spider Man? It's, it's Ultimate be- Spider Man. Is it Ultimate Spider Man? It's Drake Bell doing the voice of. Shut up. I, I heard he's actually doing like a really good job on this. That's a great show. It's, That's it's a good, good show. show. I just don't like what they did with some of the villains, like Venom and Carnage. No, yeah. I, don't I haven't like, gotten that far. Uh, I don't like what they did to them. Shh, it's okay. So yeah, Show next here. month I think uh, it's Call September me. next month, right? <laughs> We're gonna get a shield. Agents yeah. of yes. Shield. Agents of Shield. And then the month after that, we're gonna go back to uh, Walking Dead and Green Arrow. So. Mm. And then wait, we're to also. Mm. Um, what was the one we talked about recently? As well too. Mm. We talked about something recently. Mm. Wasn't it Walking Dead? No, it was a uh, oh Flash TV show. Be what? High power. I can do a flash TV. If show. that isn't the fastest show on TV, I'm gonna feel ripped <laughs> off. <laughs> that was funny. That thing better be a minute long. Animal. And they actually said that what they'll do is they'll do the TV show, and then they'll from the TV show if they want to, they'll continue the continuity Black into the movie, Black or they'll like, or they could go like no back and forth amongst the Batman Superman, Superman movies coming out. Are the Wonder Twin powers gonna be in it? Wonder That's what powers. I want to know. Wonder Twin powers unite. Wonder Four twin powers. activate. They were doing that on Teen Titans Go the other day, but yeah. that was hilarious. Oh, yeah. I, I wasn't was, paying attention, I, but I kept hearing it. That was actually pretty it. funny. I kept hearing it in the background. So I take four of the, like, beast was like, sloth. Sloth. <laughs> sloth? <laughs> hey, guys, wait up for me. Just <laughs> trying to crawl on the ground. Like, Were the actual one or two empires on it? Yeah. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah. That's funny because, like, they're doing an audition to try to replace Beast Boy because they find out Beast Boy's, like, being lazy, <laughs> like for too long. They're just like, yeah. yeah. And then like it's funny because like um they find the Wonder Twins and then she goes like form of a tiger and then the brother goes like form of ice <laughs> and just sits there like oh that's all you do. He's <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> it's like yeah you know but I help out sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> she like and they're like all disgusting. They're like okay well we have a job for you you're hired but we also have a job for you and your brother and the brother's like a secretary <laughs> just taking the calls to be like. Hello? No, this is not Batman. If you want to call Batman, call him on his Batcave. <laughs> he goes like, well, I can't give you that number. <laughs> <laughs> I love that episode. Was it the, uh, first, the first one they tried out was Vixen. Yeah. The one they like, Vixen, yeah. We could take powers like, from the animals. It's like, you're hired. <laughs> then she like, I think she had like a, a power of, like, a, of a bird and she started eating worms. Or, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta start watching this. Isn't show. that why Beast Boy is vegetarian? Yeah, Beast Boy just, like drinks soy milk and eats tofu. Boys yeah, but doesn't he? Oh no, he eats pie. He eats pie. Yeah, he eats tofu. And he eats pizza, but he it's like special pizza. You know, it's uh, like you know, lots of tofu. Like Is he a hippie? No, he's no. It's because he turns into the he's animal. A he turns into the animal, so he doesn't want to eat other animals because he knows how it is. Yeah, so. he, he turns into the animals that other people eat. Oh, you know, cows, like a chicken, chickens, pigs, I, any other subjects. Tackle it out. Um, What's the next comic book movies coming out? The, I mean, the one I can think of is maybe like Thor: The Dark World. But. Hellboy three? No, there's no, no Hellboy three. Although uh, he was gonna, uh, what's his name? Guillermo del Toro. He's making another comic book movie. I forgot what, but he said he's not gonna do it until he's done with Pacific Rim. Just to sleep. Pacific oh, by the way, Rim. just this Justice will, League Dark. This will interest no. Yes, that's what it is. Justice League Dark. <laughs> Is he yep. really doing it? He's doing one, and it's called a. Uh, it's called like a, uh, like dark something. Is it like, a show or a movie? No, it's a movie, movie and it's gonna You're it's gonna have Constantine in it, and Constantine's gonna be like traveling around, and he's gonna run into Dead Man. Have he's a Phantom Keanu Stranger. Reeves running They're not everybody. gonna have Keanu Reeves. Thank <laughs> the Lord. It's but like, he said hey, he he no, said he wants Keanu to do it. He's gonna me. write it. He's he's already he has all these ideas in his head. But he will not touch it until he finishes Pacific Rim Two. By the way, uh, they the Pacific Rim Two uh, is looking more and more likely because Renee, I don't know if you know, China of all countries pushed. It had a huge opening in China. Yeah, it was really really big. Well, so that's what a lot of people thought it would be. It's like made a lot more. Up. It's made a lot China more. China or Japan? China. Really? Yeah. Yeah, because uh, it made, takes the movie takes place in Shanghai. It's it, it's a lot of. Um, I guess it's made way more money internationally than it has. Yeah. But it's now it has to be considered a hit, even though it really kind of didn't do well here, kind of underperformed. The rest of the world made up for it. So yeah. this could be the first time that overseas box office Helps dictates out. that we get like a sequel to Sweet. a movie. Yeah, so I'm excited. Either that or they'll just do straight to DVD in China. No way. <laughs> so straight the- to dividend. 
Chinese better help us out. We buy all their products via Walmart. Oh, yeah. wow. You guys are mean. Why? What? Dude, some of the best things are made in China. Yeah. Name one. Uh, Lucy Lou. Lucy Lou. <laughs> My iPhone. Yeah, iPhone. <laughs> that was kind of mean. All right, you guys. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter. Oh, dude, you know what we didn't do? No. Uh, I'm going to give the benefit of the doubt right now. Here you guys go. Hey kids, 20th Century Man here, and uh, if you're enjoying this podcast, let's be honest, how can you be? (laughs) Listen, come on over to the Superiority Complex, all right? I don't act like this all the time. Sometimes I'm a normal human being, and you can hear me interviewing great people about great uh, topics. Yeah, Uh, I had Matt Bogarine, is that his name? Matt the Rat. I had him on the other day, mostly because I couldn't get anybody else, but hey, he's a trooper and he showed up. But that's just the type of guests that I have every week. We talk about geeky things. We talk about movies. We talk about comics. We talk about music. We talk about TV shows. We talk about anything and everything. So come on over to the Superiority Complex. You can find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash soup complex, S-O-U-P complex. Follow us on Twitter at Soup Complex, or go on over to the show page at www.podbean, no, www.superioritycomplex.podbean.com. Come on out, all you comic comers. Yeah, you know. Whoa. Uh, Fanfic. All, all, all I heard was gay right now. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Guys, don't forget to follow us on Twitter at Rathouse, R, capital R. A T T capital H A U S. Leave us tw- leave us any questions, anything you want to talk about. Also follow us on Facebook.com slash Rat House Production. That is R A T T H A U S P R O D U C T I O N S. As well as Instagram, that is Rat House Production. One word. All capitals. Cause what is it? Phenomenal cosmic <laughs> powers. Phenomenal cosmic power. Once again, I am MTR, also known as Matt the Rat. And as always, Renee. Billy. Batman. <laughs> <laughs> guys, have a great week. <laughs> hey, man, we will be switching to Podbeam extremely soon. Yeah. Look forward to it, hopefully, by the 24th episode, you guys. See you later. Listen to us on the go. You guys already have more episodes than I do?